your best chance to get into gold may be right now. Hey everyone, thank you for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I can't believe how many people watch my videos that aren't subscribed. And don't forget to hit the bell. All right, many of you have been stacking silver hard. I have too, for quite a while now. But some of you have pined that you haven't been able to get a shot at gold because you don't think the price has been reasonable enough. Well, now may be the time. This pullback could be your golden opportunity. Maybe one of the best chances you've had in a year to get in on gold. Now, I haven't stopped stacking silver, okay? So relax, <laughs> I'm not selling my silver. I'm not, you know, giving up on silver. No, last month, in fact, I bought over 50 ounces. I plan on buying more silver because I like the upside potential for silver. But with crazy silver premiums, I have shifted back to gold some. In fact, I scored this lovely one ounce gold buffalo recently. This is <laughs> this has been my uh, dream U.S. gold coin for a long time, okay? <laughs> it is just amazing. It's it's high relief. It, it And, you know, Mrs. Yankee actually noticed that. She she saw it and she was like, oh my word, this this really pops. Comes, it, it, you know, look at that. It really stands up. Much more than maybe an eagle does. Yeah, I mean, it, it is remarkable. You can actually see uh, the color difference too. This is four nines fine gold. That's 24 carats of the gorgeous stuff. All right. Uh, it's, you know, a Native American on the front with that uh, iconic braid and, and feathers. Man, I sure hope they don't uh, cancel this. Ooh, but it's beautiful. And on the back, again, is that beautiful buffalo the strength of the american buffalo beautifully depicted there oh man it is <laughs> it's gorgeous and it is so bold in its statement it really does uh make a bold statement so it is now going to be the centerpiece of my gold stack now i say gold stack i wouldn't necessarily suggest stacking the gold buffalo Okay, it, it does come with a higher premium more than, you know, other gold products, but it is one that I had to get. In fact, I'm going to attempt to get one ounce gold pieces from as many mints from around the world as I can. I'm considering, you know, the South African Krugerrand, the uh, Perth Mint Kangaroo, the Gold Philharmonic, of course, the Britannia, got to get that. Maybe even a Gold Mexican Libertad, we'll see. And for those of you curious as to when I'm getting into pre-33 gold, or constitutional gold as some people call it, that's coming soon, I hope. So why? Why am I really getting into gold for the next few weeks, maybe months, more than silver? Well, when you're thinking about gold and silver as either a traditional investment or, as I do, insurance, a, a hedge against what's coming, now's the time to think about gold and silver this way. Gold for price, silver for potential. Let me say that again. Gold for price, silver for potential. You see, physical gold has a much more attractive price premium right now okay, percentage-wise, than does silver. I mean, physical silver, as you know, has crazy high premiums, 25, 50%, 100%. You, you have to be really careful when you're buying your silver, okay? But from a price pullback standpoint, I think the opportunity to get in on gold is almost irresistible. This price pullback is temporary, people. As my uh, trading guru said in my last video, check it out right there, don't panic. In fact, lean in. 
was his words. Lean in with this opportunity to pick up more gold assets in your portfolio, especially the physical stuff, but even the paper. See, my goal by retirement is to have somewhere between 10 and 15% of my portfolio in precious metals. I'm going to do whatever it takes uh, to, to reach that goal, but I'm going to be flexible with whether it's more silver or more gold. Again, gold for price right now, silver for the upside potential. It is more speculative, and I am not going to stop stacking silver. But why gold from a macroeconomic standpoint? Well, I think about our economy, our real economy, and it's not being revived, folks. We are not seeing a recovery. We're not seeing prices going up on you know, uh, food or uh, oil, gas at the pumps, copper, uh, lumber, stocks in the equities markets because of some strengthening economy. No, don't be duped by the pundits on CNBC or Fox Business. Spending going up is driving prices up. That's what's happening. It's not because our uh, jobs are all coming back. It's not because our manufacturing sector is growing. It's because of artificial stimulus and Fed printing. The federal government is going further and further into debt at a clip of, get this, $4.6 trillion every year. That's the official government deficit, $4.6 trillion. And that's before the next round of stimulus, which is almost $2 trillion. The Federal Reserve is spending $120 billion a month, a month, in the bond market. And they're printing gobs of currency to feed this beast. Also, the weekly unemployment claims that we, we just got reported on, they were much higher and much worse than any time during the Great Recession. So think about that. During this so-called recovery that we are going through, we are losing jobs at a rate more than ever in our lifetimes. Now, CNBC, Fox Business, they're not going to really you know, talk about that too much. They're going to slobber all over the recent uh, official uh, non-farm payroll report. It was much higher than expected, a lot higher. Well, okay, what does that big number mean? Well, if you peel it back a bit, you'll see that 75% of the jobs were essentially waiters and bartenders. Waiters and bartenders. Yeah, they, they got their jobs back. Okay, that's not manufacturing. That's not high paying jobs. No, in fact, from the beginning of the year, we've only seen about 7,000 manufacturing jobs, really anemic. As I've warned uh, for uh, almost a year now, ever since the pandemic really got going, any recovery we see or we were going to see was gonna be a bubble, a product of modern monetary theory, universal basic income, you know, Fed stimulus, that's it, that's it. And, and that is crazy bullish for gold and yes, silver too. I can't stress this enough. You want to be buying gold and to some extent silver as much as you responsibly can during this pullback. Don't be afraid of the price drop. Lean into it. Buy more. <laughs> I know I am. Mm. And that is gorgeous. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.